Do you love listening to podcasts? Are you a writer or a reader who wants to know more about the behind the scenes of the publishing process or to work on your craft? Well, I have a list for you. Today, I'm going to talk about my five top writerly podcasts. Hey there, my name is Caitlin Duncan and I am a traditionally published author and ghostwriter. So today I have an exciting list for you. For years, podcasts weren't really my thing. I preferred to listen to audiobooks or my musical playlists. I found one podcast sort of by accident and I really enjoyed it and I'll mention it in a minute, but I listened to it sort of passively whenever I remembered. But there was one podcast in particular which sort of threw me down the rabbit hole to find more writerly podcasts. And I will mention that at the end of this video, so don't miss out. So as I mentioned, the first podcast I ever listened to that sort of had to do with writing and the publishing industry was Writing Excuses. So this is an educational podcast for writers. At the time I started listening, there were only four hosts on the show, which was Brandon Sanderson, who is an author, Mary Robinette Kowal, who is also an author, but she's also a puppeteer and a voice actor, Howard Taylor, who is a writer and illustrator, and author Dan Wells. Their slogan for the podcast, 15 minutes long because you're in a hurry and we're not that smart, really hit home for me because this podcast gave me the quick nuggets of information that I wanted while helping my writing process and creating a different mindset for my writing. Also, each season they come up with different themes that carry throughout the year. With the consistency of the information this way, I sort of feel like I'm taking a class with each of these authors all year round. And since I started listening to the podcast, they have grown with newer guest hosts. I feel like every time I listen to this podcast, I'm sitting in a room chatting with a bunch of good friends talking about writing. I also love that a lot of the hosts have different backgrounds that not necessarily have to do with writing. It's a little more niche information that makes it a little more interesting. For instance, with Mary Robinette Kowal's puppeteering background, and she's also an audiobook narrator, I really enjoy getting the ins and outs of different entertainment industries that can sort of relate back to books as well. Along with Howard's illustrating career, I am not an illustrator, I don't draw very well or do any of that fun stuff, but I love understanding the process behind it and how people do do it. I love this podcast because they hit some fantastic topics that really give me a wider perspective about my own writing. Next is Literati Cast with Jennifer Loughran. She is a senior agent with the Andrea Brown Literary Agency. I've been listening to this podcast for some time now. Jennifer is really great at getting to the nitty gritty in a interview with industry professionals such as writers, agents, book buyers, librarians, and more. And all of them talking about children's and young adult books. I first heard about her podcast through the SCBWI organization, which is the Society of Children's Book Writers and Illustrators. And I also had the more recent opportunity to meet her at the Big Sur at Cape Cod workshop earlier this year. She has really great insight with the industry and I love hearing about the agenting side of publishing. I have to say I really enjoyed, as I do with most of them, but more specifically her more recent episode where she interviewed another agent at her agency and they sort of went back and forth with this Q&A that listeners had given to Jennifer. It was so fun and chock full of goodies and I highly recommend it. I love when podcasts have cute taglines or something consistent within their shows, just like writing excuses. And Jennifer always asks her guests at the end of each episode, what are you obsessed with this week? And it does not necessarily have to be bookish. So in the spirit of that, what are you obsessed with this week? And it does not have to be bookish. Mine is definitely bookish. I'm currently listening to Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson, and I am just loving this narrator and I'm loving the story. It's fantastical, it's unique, and I cannot stop listening to it. So let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Next up is Novel Tea Show with Alexa Dunn, Kat O'Keefe, and Lainey Kress. So this podcast stemmed from live show chats that these three writers hosted on YouTube. 
And each time they were together, I tried my hardest to jump in for the live shows, but I ended up most of the time going back and watching the full replays. Again, it was like I was sitting in a room with them, with a bunch of my writer friends, dishing about the industry and craft and writing. One of the things that makes this podcast unique is that you're coming at the industry from different perspectives. So Alexa Dunn is a traditionally published author, while Kat and Lainey are aspiring published authors, which I think appeals to a broader audience of writers in general. But a lot of these topics bridge that gap between published authors and non-published authors, which really brings together the writing community and it's something that makes this podcast unique. So the T in this show is honesty and they sort of open up and talk about the ups and downs of the publishing industry about writing and things like that, which makes me want to tune into this podcast each time they upload. So the difference between the live shows and the podcast is that it's a bit more structured in the podcast. You have about an hour's worth of information coming at you where the live shows can go on for a couple hours. So I definitely enjoy both mediums, but I do really enjoy their podcast just for the amount of information packed into that time. So next up is Writer Writer Pants on Fire, hosted by author Mindy McGinnis. Out of all the taglines, I have to say this one is my favorite because it always makes me smile. She always starts off the episode with where authors come to talk about things that never happen to people who don't exist. So this is a new series of podcasts for me. I am currently working through the backlog of her episodes, but I have discovered a lot of writers and people in the industry that I didn't know about prior to listening to her. The wealth of information in this podcast is amazing. She covers topics of craft in all different genres, querying, marketing for authors, and the publishing industry as a whole. I'm having such a fun time listening to her podcast and I really enjoy that it's coming from a traditionally published author's point of view because a lot of these questions I think about because I am also a traditionally published author. She's also a really great podcaster in the way that she infuses her life and professional experiences into her podcast, so I feel like I'm getting to know her better with each episode. And that's one of the consistent threads in this list. I feel like I know these people. They are personable, they are open, and they're really fun to listen to. And finally, the last one. Okay, so I promised you at the beginning of this video that I would tell you which podcast really changed the game for me. And that is 88 Cups of Tea with Yin Chang. Yin Chang is an actress and she originally started off her podcast talking to more of the entertainment industry professionals. But when she moved into author and publishing professional interviews, that's when she really jumped on my radar. She has interviewed some of the top tier people in the publishing industry, especially a lot of New York Times bestselling authors such as Lee Bardugo, Jenny Han, and Angie Thomas, and so many more. Up until this point, I was only listening to writing excuses and was a little stuck in finding another writerly podcast until I listened to the Victoria Schwab episode on 88 Cups of Tea. It was like a three hour long unedited episode where they talked about the industry and about themselves and it was so awesome. I feel like it lasted 10 minutes versus three hours. It was such a good conversation. It was almost as if I was a fly on the wall listening to a conversation between two really good friends. Yin is the real deal, guys. She is generous and very open with her guests while she peels back the layers of figuring out storytelling from different people's perspectives. So that is when I went on an insane binge of her episodes. After that, I was still hungry for more waiting for the next episode when I discovered she had a community of storytellers on Facebook and has more recently started a Patreon. So I do support her as a patron and I'm not here to sell anything at all. It's completely up to you if you wanna check it out, but it does sort of lead into the next thing, which is because I was a patron, there was a patron only giveaway and I won this giveaway, which was to be on the podcast. So I received an eight minute interview with Yin Chang herself, stitched to the end of the Susie Townsend interview. And if you don't already know about Susie, she is an amazing agent who has been on my agent dream list for many years. So I just have to find time to write a whole new book on top of my contracted books and my ghostwriting novels, so no big deal, right? So for me, this was huge. This is my first public interview on a podcast. This is one of the reasons that I really love this podcast. I 
felt like it was a dream come true to have the same experiences that a lot of people I admired had before. I will link that episode below if you're interested in listening. It's well worth it, even if you do skip my part. But, but don't skip my part, please. Also, I did want to mention that this month marks the four-year anniversary of the start of 88 Cups of Tea. So I wanted to say happy birthday, Yin, and the 88 Cups of Tea community. I love you, and I will cherish you forever for the opportunities that you have given me. If you are a fan as well and interested in taking part in the celebrations, which are happening all month long, you can head over to her website to check it out. I'll link it below. And also I will link all of the other podcasts below in case you are interested in checking them out too. So through all this, now I'm addicted to writerly podcasts. I'm always looking for more. I just started listening to The Creative Pen with Joanna Penn and I am hooked. So I'm so hungry for more. Let me know down below if you have any favorite podcasts. It doesn't necessarily have to do with writing or reading. And I am just always looking for great recommendations for new podcasts. So let me know below. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know the next time I post a video. I'll see you soon. Bye.